Welcome back to SMKR. This is Steve. Up next is the Mobius models Mercury 1965 Comet Cyclone. This is the 125th scale 1965 Comet Cyclone. Let's look at the box. Part number 1210. This was just issued this year, fairly new release, and this is a built up version of the kit right here. I'll open this up and we'll have a closer look. Like most Mobius car kits, it's a pretty heavy box. That's the first thing I noticed when I picked it up. First thing when we open it up, we see it's wrapped individually here with the chrome parts, clear parts separate, the body itself is wrapped separate with the under frame, the hood, interior parts are separate, wheels, More interior parts and it's produced in kind of a tan colored off-white plastic nice color instructions here and the decals here's the kit instructions like I was saying they are in color very nice hard uh, stock paper too. If you look here it gives us some uh, suggested paint colors. First step is uh, assembling the engine which is a four barrel 289 cubic inch engine. Then we assemble the wheels and tires. Move on down to the chassis. And we assemble the interior, assemble the body in glass, final assembly, and lastly we have color example of the built model. And which is really nice here is the Ditzer code or the color paint color name and the paint code for the cars. So that's highlighted in this too, which makes it very nice. Here are the decals. Alright, so first off, let's go after the body on this kit. Once again, this is 125th scale. Now, there are some issues with this body. Uh, I want to thank my friend Bill Scott for pointing this out to me. But th this is a 65 Comet body. However, it is a Caliente body. As the, the Cyclones did not have the chrome trim on the upper door running across and that would be this part right here and it's represented represented to show as if there's a chrome trim piece 
that runs along the edge here. Let's look at some examples of some factory cyclones that are out there to show you this. Okay, welcome back. Um, everything else looks pretty good on this though. You do have the, the three chrome strips there, the badging and the correct badging on the back. It is shown as, as a comet on the rear hood, which is evident in all the pictures I've seen. Everything else looks good on this except for that trim. Now the hood looks really good too and this is just a factory hood. It would have been nice if they would have supplied the uh, mid-production um, I'd say it was an, a factory option with the two scoops up front that's a really cool looking hood and it really would have set this model off really nice. Let's look at some examples. Alright Here's the under chassis. Great detail here. And as you can see, there's no molded in exhausts or anything like that. It's all separate. Alright, so the first interior sprue tree shows the side panels and the dash. Side panels do look like a Comet interior for 65. Let's look at the dash a little closer. And it definitely looks the part of a comet. Next we have components of the rear end and some interior like the steering wheel. Rear end it looks good. There's the steering wheel. Next we have the seats, which do look like Comet seats. These would be the seat backs, center console, and visors more suspension parts. Looks like we can pose the wheels uh, in a turning mode. And looks like a couple parts have been taken off the sprue here. Next we have the exhaust, dual exhaust. And they give us a couple of valve covers that aren't painted or chromed. Now your exhaust systems all need to be cleaned up a little bit. Next we have parts for the engine bay and some suspension parts. Once again though they did remove some parts off this sprue from a previous release. Would have been nice if they would have left those for us to have spares. And again, more engine compartment parts, and they did take parts off again. I have a feeling these are these could have been like another engine. Firewall. And here's our four barrel 289 get a closer look but first we'll start with one of the other problems with this kit it does give us the correct air cleaner and let's look at a photograph of the real one if you'll notice on the real one the center piece is chrome and the outer piece is not so it would have been nice if they would have replicated that for us you could probably just take some bare metal foil to the center part to make it look factory moving on intake manifold, 
oil pan, fan, belts, hoses, exhaust, the engine block itself, heads, water pump. Okay, I don't see any chrome valve covers yet. They must be on the chrome tree. Be right back with that. So if you see the two pieces of chrome trees are separated with a little plastic or a little paper sheet in between. Nice touch. Alright, here's the first chrome tree and I apologize it's very hard to film the chrome here. Let us have a closer look at the grill. Which looks very good. Your bumpers. The wheels themselves. And the valve covers. These valve covers have ribs on them. I'm not sure the factory ones had ribs on them. The other valve covers that are included in the kit look more like the valve covers that were installed on these and they were chrome for the Cyclone. Next one we have, we have the mag wheels this time. Windshield wiper blades, door handles and such. Very nice. These are supposed to be the Cyclone style wheels and I don't believe the whole wheel itself was chrome. Just the center part, but I may be wrong. Here are the tires, and they are the Tampo Graphic uh, white walls. See the tread pattern? Now you'll see there's a seam down the middle, so that will have to be cleaned up. And there's no other markings on the tires. And lastly, we have the clear parts windshield, headlights tail lights. Good clarity on these. Rear, the front quarter windows and the rear window. No side windows are provided with this kit which would have been a nice option to have. And there you have it. This was the 125th scale Mercury 1965 Comet Cyclone from Mobius Models. Now this, uh, I would rate this kit as a 9 out of 10. Uh, the main issue that this kit has is the body represents more of the, the Comet Caliente versus the Cyclone because like I was saying there's no, there's no chrome trim on this part here which they depicted in the picture but when the modeler built it, he put the chrome on it. The other issues I have are the valve covers aren't chrome, so you're going to have to figure out how to do that yourself with uh, all clad paints. The air cleaner isn't, uh, isn't given to us in a fashion where it would be easy to make the center port part chrome. So you're going to have to do that yourself with the bare metal foil or all clad. And I believe the wheels aren't quite represented correctly either in this too, but I'm, I could be wrong on that. The other parts are the extra pieces that, are, that have been removed from the tree that would have been nice to have those. We're paying a pretty high retail price for this kit. It would have been nice to have those and also would have been nice to have the side glass. Anyway, I do highly recommend this kit. It's a very nice kit and it should look really good on the shelf. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Happy modeling everybody.